It is cold and clear this first morning in March. The air alive with gentle breezes and bird song. The sun warms the earth, waking golden daffodils from their season of slumber. And you, determined to dig. I'll fill in the holes, you say, and out to the backyard we go, marching haphazardly, searching for tiny hills from which to borrow earth, patching the damage done by our neighbor's unintelligent spotted dog. I notice the soil, the rich coffee-scented Tennessee loam of this fertile valley, this farmer's delight. It inspires us both. Someday we'll have a garden. We pause, drinking in the crisp, fresh air, opening to our possibilities like two more daffodils. Visions of raised beds, fragrant basil, thyme, and oregano hang before us like a bit of mist, then melt away in the sun. Work and the indoors waited, but we hesitate. Want to watch me chop some wood, you ask? I stand back as you wield the axe, a new tool, a Christmas gift. Clumsy at first, you find a rhythm. Lift, bang, drive in deeper. Lift, bang, drive in deeper. I could be a peasant, I declare silently to no one. I could be a daffodil. You go inside then, begin your real working day. Phone calls, emails, rhythmic clicking of the computer keyboard. But I linger. I linger, not yet ready to leave the sun, the birds, the smell of earth and promise. I linger and do not notice when my feet begin to sink deeper into the ground, when my arms become green leaves and golden petals, when my daffodil face turns slowly upward, peaceful, grateful, smiling at the sun. <laughs>